let's go over another example for you. Well, suppose I ask you to find the domain of the following function, not the review, we don't need the review, just another example. Find the domain of z equals to square root of nine minus x squared, minus y squared, very good. So we have a radical, we have a quantity inside the radical and we want to know what is the domain of this function. So let's go back to the definition. By definition, the domain is equal to the set of all ordered pairs like x and y such that, well, they're satisfying some conditions. What is that condition? Now that we got used to the idea of how to deal with these types of functions, we have a radical with a quantity inside the radical. This is a relation between x and y, am I right? So this guy must be larger than or equal to zero. So such that with the condition that nine minus x squared minus y squared is larger than equals to zero. Well, okay, so what is this? Going back to what we learned before. Nine minus X squared minus Y squared is larger than or equal to zero. What's the meaning of that? It means that we can bring these two terms to the other side. They have nine larger than or equals to X squared plus Y squared or X squared plus Y squared is less than or equals to nine. Okay, this formula looks very familiar. Have I seen it before? Yes, of course. Recall that in algebra, you learned about the formula x squared plus y squared equals to r squared. What was it? It's a circle centered at the origin with radius r radius r but here i have inequality well the meaning of that is you have all points x and y if you square x square y add them together it's less than or equals to nine all of the points inside a circle of radius three so if you consider x squared plus y squared equals to nine or three to the second power, this guy is just a circle, boundary points, circle of radius three. But when it comes to x squared plus y squared less than or equals to nine, what you have all points on and inside the circle or you have a disk. Here you have x and y. Three and all of these points are part of the domain of this confidence. So this is the domain. This is a visualization of the domain of this function. You can take a look at the function as well. Square root of we have nine minus x squared minus y squared. So this is the object that we have. This is the surface that we have, everybody. It's a 3D object, am I right? 
if you project this in xy plane all of these points on the surface will be projected in xy plane so it's not just the circle all points inside the circle are also taken they are part of your domain so that's why our domain is shaded on and inside the circle of radius three you have a disk here 